Hi, this is Javier Encinas. As if Concrete 4 was released recently, it includes great features. Today we're going to discuss one of those features in detail. It's called the Beam Design Manager. We'll cover what the manager is, how it works, and how that can help you to design uh, your beams more efficiently and improve your, uh, your productivity. Uh, I have prepared an example for uh, illustration purposes. It's a rectangular beam, 12 by 24, three spans. It's a uh, continuous beam, can be up to five spans. For illustration purposes, I prepared uh, a three span beam, 22, 25, and 19 feet spans. I have also modeled some loads, some uh, dead and live loads, uniform and concentrated. Graphically looks looks like that for the combination 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live, which is controlling because those are the uh, load cases that I'm using, uh, dead and live, plus the self weight. The program is able to generate the uh, shear and moment diagrams uh, immediately. So whatever you change in the loads or any other uh, input is reflected here immediately. You don't need to wait to calculate anything. You can see immediately the change graphically and also numerically here. You can see all, all, all the numbers and the calculations uh, uh, updated as you go. When you design a, a continuous beam, the first step consists in the analysis of the beam to find uh, precisely the reactions, the shears along the beam, and also the bending moments along the beam. It's a process that if you do it by hand, it's going to be time consuming and complicated, but can be done by hand, of course, but it's going to take time. With as deep concrete, this can be done instantly. Immediately, you can see the, uh, the results. The next step is to design the rebars accordingly to these diagrams, uh, the number and size of rebars and lengths, so that the capacity of the beam is enough to resist the loads represented by these uh, internal forces, shears and, and moments. As if concrete has a feature that lets you show the beam capacity in the same diagram as, as your moment or your shear diagrams, just uh, check the box that shows MN on, and shows VN. Uh, so the blue shape represents the capacity here in bending, here the capacity in shear. So the goal of the design is to increase the capacity in such a way that is covering all the red areas graphically, meaning that uh, we have, you, know, you will have more capacity everywhere along the beam. Of course, you can do this manually. If you go to the reinforcement tab, you can uh, change the top rebars, the bottom rebars, or the stirrups to control the capacity in shear. So you can uh, change the number of rebars, the size of the rebars here, you can specify that, and uh, you know specify the lengths, and so on. But it's gonna be a very slow process. It's gonna, be, it's gonna take time. Now in, uh, in Asdip Concrete 4, there's a new feature that lets you do this exactly internally. So with just uh, a few steps, you can instruct the program to design the rebars accordingly. If you click on this button, this opens the design manager. Basically in the design manager, you specify the bar sizes for, uh, for the top and bottom, which are the A bars. They are continuous bars, top and bottom. The bars B are on top of the supports at the top. And the bar C are at the bottom for a positive moment, just in the middle of the span. So you specify what uh, bar size you want to use in, in your particular case. And the same applies to the stirrups, what size of the stirrups you want how many legs per stirrup. Normal case is two legs, but you also can specify more than two legs and the size. And then you click on, this, on the design and the program will try to, to find the, the rebars and the lengths and the number of bars. 
here, for example, I want to use reverse number eight. So I specify top and bottoms number eight for the reverse at the supports. I want also number eight to be consistent. And the additional reverse at the center at the bottom number eight as well. For the stirrups, number three is, is, is very common, uh, two legs per, per stirrup. So this is all the information that is required in the design manager. After I click the design uh, button, you're going to see how the project tried to define the capacity of the beam. Let's do that right now. You can see that the, the capacity now is OK for the negative. For the positive, is also OK everywhere. Here, probably, we can improve it, and, and also here. So the capacity is a little bit shifted to the to the right. We we can move it to the left a little bit. Here at, uh, we can move it to to the to the right. But you know these are minor modifications. The program has done a great uh, job finding the, the required number of rebars uh, to provide the, the capacity. In shear, obviously I can I can see here a problem. You know the capacity is not enough in in this area. Also, there's a problem here in the third span. For example, for the positive moment in the first uh, span, uh, we need to reduce or we need to change the dimension at the left of the rebar. It's a positive moment, so that's a bottom rebar. Okay. We are using two number eight continuous bars. plus one number eight at the center and these are the dimensions starting at three and ending at 16 that gives give us this this uh this shape so we need to reduce this instead of 3.6 let's say two feet so now it's more to the left here we have too much capacity when we, we can reduce it a little bit maybe 15 maybe it's okay but probably one more 14 14 feet yeah that's okay for positive in the third span we can shift it to the to the right let's move to the third span here span number three instead of starting in 4.75 let's start at six yes uh, we can shift it a little bit uh, instead of ending in 15 let's end in 17 which is okay let's move on to the stirrups first span we need more capacity here right not, not, not to be so precise so instead of 10 let's say at 9 so we have more capacity here is okay we need more capacity a little bit so instead of 6 7.6 so instead of 7.6 let's see 6 yes and we need more more stirrups to increase the capacity to the left instead of six maybe ten we need even more so twelve even more fourteen say say fifteen to be safe so with these stirrups we are okay in this area let's move to the second span The capacity here is okay, but we need to increase the length. So more stirrups at the left. Instead of six stirrups, we need, say, 10 more, 14. Yes, we are okay with that. At the right uh, end, we need more capacity here. It's too tight, maybe a 10. And we need to increase the, uh, the number of, of stirrups, maybe 10 stirrups. It's probably too much, but it's OK. Let's move to the, to the third span. Here, maybe we can reduce it to 5. And we need to increase the number of stirrups, maybe 14, even more, maybe 16. We are OK there. Yeah, and the right end is OK. So with this configuration, 
we are covered both in bending and now we are covered now in shear. And as you can see, the design manager did the design, uh, uh, the, you know, as a first attempt to cover uh, all the requirements along the beam. There were some minor modifications that I had to do manually, but they were minimum. As you can see, I completed the design in just a few minutes, probably in less than 10 minutes, I can complete this beam graphically. I can see uh, the beam elevation showing the rebar that we just designed. Uh, of course, whatever I change here is reflected here immediately. Numerically, you can see here that everything is passing. The ratio, you know, is the maximum is 0.79 for bending. In shear, the maximum here is, is one at, at some point, which is at the left of the second, yeah, here, because we are very close to uh, to what we need. Uh, so at, at the second uh, span, at the left, we can reduce it to five, and then we have more capacity now. So graphically or numerically, we can check is 0 .90, 0 0.93, which is okay. So we can uh, say that this is a very, good optimized design of this beam. In the condensed uh, tab, you can see the results in more detail, you know, the, the support reactions per, uh, per load combination, the bending moments also per load combination, the shear forces, here the bending strength, In the detail tab, you can see the results in more in more detail with uh, exposed formulas, references to the ACI code. So you can check every single calculation step by step. We can print out the report, and it's a print preview of the condensed report, which consists of three three pages, four pages. Is pre-formatted. We includes all all the the images as well. Likewise, we can uh, print preview the detailed report with all the calculations. Nine pages with all the images and and, and all the calculations. So you can print out all this all this stuff. As you can see, the Beam Design Manager is very useful. Uh, it can save you uh, a lot of time in your design and a lot of effort, and you can improve your uh, productivity this way. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.